Hey everybody. Hello, I'm Kim. And I'm Erin and we are K&E &E RV TV. Mm -hmm. And we are coming at you here from Central Florida <laughs> where we have been work camping since November. Yeah, sorry. Um, sorry we haven't shown you guys any of currently where we are, but we're finally here. Yeah. We finally made it here. It took us a long time to put out our travel vlog series all the way down here. That wasn't our intention. Mm -hmm. That's just kind of what happened with losing yeah. Zach. And when we got here, we worked a lot more mm -hmm. than we originally thought we were going to. Yeah. So more than we anticipated for sure. Yeah. And we've also, you know, been in a funk mm -hmm. ever since Mech Mech. So it's just, you know, we're still trying to find a groove, but we're actually coming towards the end of work camping. Mm -hmm. So we're kind of speculating now where we're going to end up. I know mm -hmm. we didn't get to show you anything here because we've gone nowhere. Yeah. On our days off, we've either gone to see family mm -hmm. or just kind of recuperated, did laundry from the mm -hmm. week. So we haven't done a bunch, but we're going to try we to. We haven't even been to Disney. Yeah. yeah. That's how you can tell that we are not right because we have <laughs> one of the big reasons we decided to come down here to Central Florida mm. was that we knew we could go to Disney. Yeah. It was only about an hour or so away from where we are and we haven't even done that. So that uh, just kind of shows you our state of mind and where we've been. And it's mainly because of Cody. We can't leave Cody for that long. Yeah. And if we went there, it'd be for a long time. And Disney is a lot of money. So if we weren't going to be able to go a lot, it was kind of hard to mm -hmm. decide if we were going to get an annual pass or not. Yeah. Because when we originally anticipated everything, Zach was here, we knew our what we could do, mm -hmm. what, you know, how long we could leave them. But now Cody being on his own, he's, he doesn't love it. Nope. So luckily where we work, we, we do work camp. So mm -hmm. where we live, we work so we can come and check on him throughout mm -hmm. the day. But leaving him for a few hours on his own, he just doesn't take it like he used to. So that's also definitely put a whole new spin on our lives. Yep. But we love right. you guys. We miss you guys. We're going to yeah. hang out, show you our sites, mm -hmm. make some breakfast for dinner. Ooh, breakfast for dinner. Yes, if you've been following along with us, you knew we on our travels from New Hampshire to Florida. We stopped in Vermont at a Harvest House. We got ourselves some real maple, Vermont maple pancake mix mm. and some real Vermont maple syrup. Maple syrup. And that's syrup. what we're having tonight. Yes, and some bacon. Mm -hmm. All right, my arm hurts. <laughs> we're going to hang out with y'all tonight. Well, you're going to hang out with us. Yeah. And we're going to have some fun. Let's do it. We are Kim and Aaron, and this is Zach and Cody. We are best friends living and traveling full time in our renovated RV, Lucy. We have been on the road since October 2020, so please subscribe to join in on all the fun. RV TV, K and E RV TV, sing it with us. The sun is going down. Cody's trying to run away as usual, <laughs> but this is our sight here at our RV park. There is Lucy, our 32 foot Coachman Leprechaun Class C RV. 99 baby. 1990. Only, but a goodie. Yes. So this is our site. We have a decent amount of room. And we have a new addition we got for Christmas from the parents. Thank you. We got this cute little five sided gazelle, little tank gazebo to hang out in. We do have a fire pit here. We have our string lights all the way around so if it gets darker we can show you that. But this is inside our little gazebo. We also got this rug from Aaron's mom for Christmas. How cool is this? Making memories one campsite at a time. Love it. Have a little fan going. Have a little end tables. Oh a little TV. We were watching some TV and we have an old <laughs> rug my parents had gotten us a couple years ago. That was blocking the sun from us earlier. But yeah, this is our little setup. Yeah. It's actually a really, really beautiful resort. Mm -hmm. We kind of forget sometimes that we're even in Florida. Yeah. The weather here is different. It's also winter. That's yeah. the best time to be in Florida. Yeah. But we're kind of in the middle of nowhere and it, it's definitely that way. Yeah. <laughs> it's nice to get out of the house and bustle and just Everywhere you look, it's pretty, pretty spectacular as the sun sets. Here. Yeah, the sunsets are pretty nice. Cody, do you want to say hi to the people? Oh. Cody, you want to say hi? <laughs> you want to say yeah. hi? That's as far as he can go. <laughs> He's tied up. He's tied up, yeah, because he tries to escape. Oh, he does. He sneaks. Yeah. He don't move very fast, but he tries to. <laughs> that's, the, that's one of the good things about his old age. He used to just like kind of bolt, and now he, he tries to. <laughs> but I can outrun him at this point. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, ready to start making some pancakes! <laughs> Alrighty, if you have been following along with us on our channel for the last few months, you know that we spent some time in Vermont 
very little, but it was amazing using Harvest Host, which is an awesome app. You want to travel around and boondock for free, basically. But anyway, so we were in Vermont and we found some maple pancake mix. And we were like, of course, let's do it. It's from Vermont. And we had syrup. To get some real Vermont maple syrup. Yeah. Mm. So that's what we're going to have today. I already uh, mixed up our pancake mix. It's super easy. For the whole batch, the whole bag, it's two cups. And then you add a cup and a half of buttermilk and three tablespoons of your favorite cooking oil, the light oil. I use avocado. And just kind of letting that sit. Already cooked some maple bacon. Yes. And then we're going to start griddling up these pancakes and see how they are. Griddling up. Griddling up. Griddling up. <laughs> Since we are making our maple sugar pancake mix, I had to make some maple bacon. We're cooking this up and then we're gonna add our mix onto our grease griddle with bacon grease. Yeah. Way better than butter or oil if you're, you know, you're trying to stay healthy. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding about that part. Okay, so we finished up our maple bacon and got our batter ready. We're going to use look, a little one-third measuring cup to scoop. Let's see how this goes. Who misses Aaron's cooking videos? <laughs> Who misses me cooking? Aaron's out of practice. I am. I miss Aaron's cooking. I don't even get it anymore because yeah. all we do is work. Yeah, it's just I don't cook very we have, often. We have a deli here at our, our resort. That's, That's what we eat most of the time. Or the food trucks. <laughs> yeah. We're out in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. And we do get groceries, but still, like, after working eight hours, I'm just like, I don't, I can't cook like I used to. And we're suffering. Pancakes. We're suffering. I think I made them a little too big. They're huge. Maybe use a one-fourth cup instead. Maybe use a one-fourth <laughs> cup instead. <laughs> but they smell really, really good. That maple flavor is, I'm excited. So I just want to share how I cook pancakes. I wait for the top to pretty much have bubbles all over. And then we're going to flip it over and cook it for like one or two minutes, depending on how crispy you like your pancakes. But these are in bacon grease, so they're going to crisp up a little more than if you use yeah, butter you like to or crunch oil. Bottom. I do. Crispy bottom. Looking pretty good so far and smelling really good. Yum. All right. We wanted some coffee to go with our breakfast. And we got a... New coffee pour over for Christmas. Thank you, Mommy. And we found this new pistachio latte creamer. It says like limited edition on it or something. I love pistachio everything. I've been asking International Delight in my brain for years to make pistachio. Because yep. they have like amaretto and they have hazelnut and other nutty All flavors. Peanut butter or whatever. And I love pistachio, pistachio ice cream. Um, yes. Mm -hmm. So we got this new pour over. Now you guys can stop making fun of it us. It came with these special fancy, <laughs> fancy filters that are supposed to make the coffee taste better. And it works. Mm, mm, mm. But you can you can stop making fun of us for our ghetto coffee. Yeah, we don't have our ghetto had. coffee maker anymore. There's our Zachary and Cody puzzle. How cool is that? We just got that recently. That was at the vineyard that we stopped in in, in yeah, Virginia. Yeah, Marshland Vineyard. And it's a beautiful day here in Central Florida. So we're going to be outside and we're going to enjoy it in our new tent. We keep trying to start this next clip and he will not stop barking because he knows we have yummy pancakes and bacon. Oh, uh, yeah. He's and like, now, um, bacon, yes, and now that he's old, he's oh, like, give oh, me what oh, I want. Oh, he's ridiculous. Oh, oh. He's like, I'm my only oh, child now. Yep, give me, give what, me I what I want. Right. Oh. I'm gonna, okay, Cody. Okay. Okay. Nobody look what I'm doing. Oh, yeah. No wonder why he does that. No wonder why he does that. Have I created a monster? Yes. yes. Is he 14 and I want to give him whatever he wants? Also, yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. He deserves it. Okay, but anyway, these pancakes look, smell, yum, yes. yum. And, of course, we had a, when we bought the mix, we had to get a real container Hold on. of maple Vermont. Yes. Maple syrup. But we couldn't afford anything much bigger than this. <laughs> so we're going to have to ration. Okay? Yeah, yeah, right? I'm going first because Kim, All right. I don't know if I trust her. You can Ready go for first. This. Let's do it. Oh. Maple syrup like Cody watching. Oh. <laughs> Who loves real maple syrup out there? It's like so... Not that Aunt Jemima. It smells so good. Okay, a little bit on the bacon. Right? If only we had some of that maple cream liqueur to go with it. That we got the same place that was gone months ago. <laughs> We've been saving nice this to make a vlog for y'all. Yes, we for have months. great intentions. Our intentions are real. All right, try it out. Okay, I'm excited. 
Try it out. Right, I'm gonna get a big old bite. All right. Ready? They're not surprised. Maple pancakes with real maple oh. syrup. M and maple bacon. Was it worth it? This I, this movie the best pancake I've ever had in my life. <laughs> Cody. I'm not even kidding. How was the bacon, Cody? You have to try. All right, my turn. Mm -hmm. And this pistachio coffee is so good. The coffee creamer. Highly recommend. Wish it even had a stronger flavor. We're also watching Australian Survivor. Highly recommend. Bacon is good too. Okay, I'm glad hers nice and diced. Let's see your thoughts. Okay, that syrup is really, really mm -hmm. good. I know because we have the maple syrup, we can, I can't tell if the flavor of the maple pancakes. I do taste cinnamon. I did add a little cinnamon. Mm -hmm. Cinnamon didn't come in the package, but I just, I know I like a little cinnamon. Mm -hmm. And, but also cooking the bacon grease. Again, you cook Not anything really in bacon good. grease, it's gonna be delicious, but these are incredible. Like the flavor is really, really nice. I feel like they even taste good without syrup. They're like that good. Mm -hmm. Bacon's yummy. And Cody finally shut up. So <laughs> we're gonna try to enjoy the rest of our meal. And we'll see how the rest of the night goes. Cheers. Whew, those pancakes were so delicious, so but very filling. So we are going to take Cody for a walk and walk off all those pancakes. And the sun's setting really nice. Not too shabby. It's a little chilly here in February. Yeah. We're in late February right now. We haven't had many hot days here It's like the all. high, it's like in the high 60s right now. The perfect time to be in Florida. Mm -hmm. I would say it probably is February. Yeah, for real. Yeah. But we are at a very nice RV park, but there's no trees. It gets very windy here. I mean, there's windy, like yeah, crazy windy. I mean, there's no like canopy trees. Of course, we have palm trees. <laughs> but this park is really nice. Can you see the moon? I just wish there was like mountains uh -huh. right here, like in Tennessee. <laughs> <laughs> this park kind of does remind me of our park that we stayed at in Tennessee, just like the spots and stuff. But um, we don't have a mountain view, unfortunately. Nope. <laughs> we do have sunsets are, I swear sometimes they just, the next day blows up the next day away. Like, yeah. look, it's already looking like rainbow. So pretty. Really pretty. There is a tiki bar here. Yes, actually I work. For Guess who works bar. at the tiki bar? I work the Tiki Bar, we both do housekeeping, and then Kim does activities. Yeah. So she does a lot of the fun things around the park. I hang out and, you know, make people drinks and have a good time. Yeah, she does some karaoke sometimes. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's a pretty fun park. They do a lot of fun stuff for all of the guests. There's really nothing near you. The closest grocery store is like half an hour away. <laughs> We're in the middle of nowhere, Florida. Half the time I forget we are in even in Florida. But yeah, everybody here has electric bikes. Mm -hmm. That's the thing to have here. And golf carts. Most, but not a lot of people have. I mean, some people do, but majority of people have electric bikes. Mm -hmm. We should get some of those. Right? I would just hurt myself somehow. Probably. <laughs> she would lose it, her beautiful teeth. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> this park. We are at, sorry we're not giving out the name right now or anything, but it's a really big park and it's very, very busy There's here in winter in Florida. 400 RV sites here. Yeah, and they're pretty much all full. And they have cottages and stuff. Except for that one right behind you. <laughs> but yeah, it's very, very busy, busy, busy park. A lot of people here. In activities, I do things, we do a lot of arts and crafts, but I... I lead things like bingo and trivia. She gets the, to go run trivia and bingo uh, down at the bar when we're not uh -huh. working, so it's fun. We like kind of work together. When we do housekeeping, we work together. Uh -huh. But when she's in activities and I'm on the tiki bar, obviously we're not. But uh -huh. when she gets to do activities at the tiki bar. And up? the one thing that people care about here is bingo. B -I -N -G -O. Bingo. Yeah. That gets them going. You see all the bikes. <laughs> when 4.30 rolls around, everyone's going to the yep. Tiki Bar. <laughs> it's pretty funny. Yeah, it's pretty fun. I enjoy doing it. <clears throat> and I do things like trivia, like general knowledge trivia and mm -hmm. stuff like that for the guys. Mm -hmm. So, it's pretty fun here. But we work a lot. A 
But I a mean, lot. it was good too because it's kept keeping us busy, and you know we spent a lot more money on expenses, expenses coming down from New Hampshire, which uh -huh. happens in RV life. Yeah. So it's actually been good that we've been working and you know recouping some of that. Yeah. And just keeping our minds occupied. Yeah. But we do, like I've said previously, we do miss you guys, and we're happy that you're still with us. Thanks for all your concerns and all your questions and. <laughs> everything you leave us on social media we appreciate all of it and if you have any more questions for us feel free to leave them in the comments we'll be trying to make some more videos for you yeah we'll see what we get to before we leave here though yeah. <laughs> trying to get more consistent we're kind of finding a groove we're we're, we're merging from the funk we're trying to <laughs> trying anyway, to you know yeah it's yeah. weird going for walks and only having one dog we just take we pass Cody off. We pass Cody <laughs> off. So Cody is going to be 14 the in March. Yeah. So anymore. <laughs> you know, oh, you can take your sunglasses off. Thank you. Is that better? <laughs> the sun. The sunset is so bright. <laughs> or the full moon. The full moon. The full moon. <laughs> The sky is beautiful. They should, they, we can't see you. You're a little dark. There you are. They're doing karaoke at the bar right now. Yeah, oh yeah, they are. You want to go sing? You want to sing for the people here? I actually asked <laughs> him earlier today. I said, are we doing karaoke tonight? <laughs> and we should have went to bingo. Yeah. <laughs> Instead of me running it. <laughs> <laughs> we just had to be homebodies today. <laughs> yeah, we've been on the go, go, go. Mm -hmm. Last weekend, we went to my dad's in Punta Gorda. And the week, our weekend before that, we went down to Fort Lauderdale. Mm -hmm. So that's some family. Went to the Jody Messina concert and it was amazing. Uh, so we've just been busy, busy, busy on the go, go, go. So today was kind of our first relaxing day. And look, now we're working again. Yeah. <laughs> work, work, work all day long. We're supposed to be doing this lifestyle so we don't work as much, Aaron. Yeah. You know, but we gotta work hard when we have to. Exactly. We made it back. To our site. It was a nice long walk. Hope you enjoyed that, Cody. It was very nice. Walk and too. our lights are on now. Yeah, they're set to a timer, so they come on at like dusk. I just noticed a couple bulbs are out. Oh no! Uh, but that was a good walk. Zacharias definitely missed when we go on our walks always. and all the time. But now we always assume that Zach would outlive Cody because Zach was only 12. Cody's about to be 14. So now we just feel like every day we have with Cody is just a blessing. Yep, exactly. That's why yes. sometimes he gets to do what he wants. Uh -huh. He gets spoiled. And and Zach had a lot of anxiety. He always <laughs> wanted to be inside. And Cody is the complete opposite. Loves exploring, yeah. loves people, loves super other dogs, social. super yeah. social. So it's kind of better this way, even though it sounds a little morbid, but he's, but he's getting he's to better. really enjoy like by himself you know his life now yeah as an independent dog because he can go with us everywhere he wants to go yeah. everywhere he wants to be with all the people yeah so he's when Aaron to when Aaron work, um, works the tiki bar at nighttime I always walk <laughs> Cody down there he drags me down there he to go her. see her and there's usually food trucks so the smell brings him as <laughs> well yeah, but people hanging out he, he likes to walk behind the bar and smell everything he loves it here for he sure does. I thought my sunglasses on my head they're no longer necessary. <laughs> I started fire! Woo! It's a perfect night for it. You're a little chill. You're in the chill. way. You're oh, in the sorry. way. <laughs> it's like nice and chill, but not like windy. Because it's windy, very windy here. Like every day. Mm -hmm. So we got lucky today. But yeah, it's a beautiful night. Mm -hmm. Ooh, this is smoky fire. We did have rain a couple days ago and it rained for like a day and a half. Yep. But other than that, it's been nice. Yeah. Alrighty. It's the next day. We enjoyed our dinner. Cody, you want to go for a ride? Now we're going to take Cody out to our little savannah we have here at the resort. Savannah. <laughs> I, it reminds me of the Safari Animal Kingdom. Yeah, it really does. So. Okay, but yeah, this resort is really pretty, so we're going to show you a little bit of it. Let's go do it. I just wanted to give you a little shot of the clubhouse here at the resort we've been staying at. There's a hard work camper working hard right there. So here at our resort, we do have goats. And luckily, right before we came, there was a baby goat born. He's now four months. He was a newbie when we first got here. But this is their little pen over here. Cody is already excited. We haven't even got to the fun part yet, Cody. Oh, we do come and bring them snacks every so often. 
It's mm -hmm. fun when we're working. We can just ride by and say hi to the goats. But we're headed out to, we call this the Savannah. It looks a lot like Animal Kingdom. <laughs> At and the Disney donkey. World. Yes, we have a donkey back here. We're gonna go check it out, let Cody run around, have a good time. We've seen some crazy wildlife. We've seen some new creatures. New to us is a fox squirrel. If anyone has seen a fox squirrel, please leave a comment. Let us know if you've seen one because they literally look like a squirrel and a ferret had a baby. And they're really, really cool. They sit up kind of like a meerkat. But we're gonna go back here. It's a beautiful open area here at the campground. You can use your golf carts, your bicycles, e-bikes. A lot of people just ride around the trails. You can hear Cody sound like he's gonna pass out. And he's not. <laughs> he's just excited. <laughs> It's a beautiful day here in Florida. When Florida is nice, it's it's pretty pretty amazing. Here's Jackie. Hi, Jackie. She's our sweet donkey here at the resort, Hi. and that's her best friend. He's a billy goat. <laughs> Hi, Jackie. Hi. Hi, pretty girl. Hi. Yeah. You wanna say hi? Did we bring you some treats? Mm -hmm. Yeah. We gotta bring him treats. <laughs> that's her billy goat bestie. He's very, he's aggressive so he doesn't get to stay with the other goats, but he hangs out with Jackie because she can handle him, right? He's a friend. You put him in his place he's too. Friend, huh? Yeah. She's sweet. They actually rescued her. She was um, in a really poor place. They weren't taking care of her at all, so the campground here rescued her and now they're what? just hanging out. What? Yeah. She's got this beautiful area. It's huge for both of them to play She's around in. Stinky girl. She does. They smell like goat cheese. <laughs> they do. They're Watch stinky. The barbed wire. It's rough. Hi. Oh, I caught my shirt yeah, already. Hi. Ow! <laughs> She's a nibbler. You gotta make sure you got the treats out I was of your worried fingers. Why are you catching your shirt in the barbed wire? And she chopped my finger off. Chopped it off. Yeah. She had my whole finger in her mouth. Yeah. She's cute. They get all sorts of treats. Yep. I love it here. It's amazing. It really is such a beautiful property. All of this back here are trails. You can ride around your golf cart, your e-bikes. It goes, it goes far, far back. Cody's on the run. He walks a lot faster when he's off the leash. He does. He does. He's like, I'm getting away from you. Here's our goat friends. Hello, everybody. Hi. The baby was the one in the middle. This one was born when we first got here a few months ago. Hi. There's another one over there. You want some treats? You want some treats? Okay. Cody wanted to come say hi to his goat friends. Yeah. <laughs> we always walk him over here. Hey, uh, they're like, do you have any food? Oh, Cody's like, this is this is my this is my place. No. Be nice. You be nice. You be nice. You're not gonna get no treats. You're not gonna get any treats. Yeah. Yeah. Those are the goats, Cody. Yeah. Those are your friends. Yeah. That's a baby. <laughs> The baby's always so nice to call. Who's ready for some treats? Yes! <laughs> they don't play around. <laughs> they don't play okay. around. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Okay. Look okay. at those crackers. They're yummy. <laughs> yeah, they're yummy. Oh. Oh, this one is like, give me some. Give me some. Give me some, please. Okay, that's it. The rest went to the donkey. Yeah. <laughs> He's super cute, though. This is the baby. He was just born when we got here in November. Yeah. He's four months old. He's he's a big boy now. He was so tiny when we first got here. But they're super cute. 
You happy, goats? Okay. Bye you bye. happy? See you later. We'll see you later. We gotta go get some air conditioning. See you <laughs> later. All right, y'all. So we did not make it to karaoke. We ended up going out to dinner. Had a really nice time, but it ran later. Karaoke was over before we even got home. But we had such a great day. In our next video, we have we are gonna hang out in Disney World, which we are currently at. So make sure you check that video out. But we do appreciate you. We're gonna try to pop out some content for you on the regular very soon. And we will see you in the next episode. Bye, y'all.